All right, let's make another basic part with on shape. Um, I think today what we're going to do is we're going to do part number eight. So this has some circles, it has some fillets, and we're going to use a different uh, technique today. We're going to use an additive technique to build this one rather than a subtractive technique. So let's start by making a document, and we're going to call this number eight basic. And I'm going to start with, we'll call it the top, and let's just go turn these off. And let's, <laughs> let's leave that on for a minute. We'll put a sketch on it first. There we go. We got a sketch on it. Now we can turn it off and I'm going to sketch a rectangle. And this rectangle, if I look at my base, remember grid spacing is a quarter of an inch. Um, that is two inches wide by uh, one and a half inches. 1.5. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the base first and then I'm going to extrude it up. Extrude and then go up with it. Um, and the thickness is one half of an inch, 0.5. Now, did anybody catch the mistake I made? Okay, so let's, let's, let's say that's fine. Okay, um, I rotate this around, take a look at it. And it looks okay. Um, if you notice though, the dimensions are off. So how do I fix it? What do, what do I do to fix stuff? Well, let's go and take a look at the sketch. So I'm going to say edit sketch. So I, I right clicked on extrude, chose edit sketch one, and let's take a look at it. It says that it's 1.5 units long by, oh, there isn't, is it, there isn't a unit on it. Okay. Well, let's fix that. Let's dimension it. Let's dimension it from here to here. And that needs to be, we said two inches, but it didn't make it two inches. So there, now we've got it done correctly. We can say check and it just fixes it with the extrusion. All right. So there's our base. Now we have to put a fillet on these front two sides. Let's choose the fillet tool. Fillet. We're going to put a fillet here and a fillet here. That fillet has to be a quarter inch fillet. So I need to just make sure that it says 0.25 and say check, boom. And now that's that's our base, okay? Um, pretty straightforward. I think what I wanna do next is I wanna make that neck that comes up from the back of this. So let's put a sketch on here and notice we're adding to this now instead of the other ones we were doing the subtractive method. This one's more of an additive method. I'm just gonna make uh, a rectangle and I'm gonna put it on something like this. And that rectangle has to be 0.5 enter by one enter and don't forget I have to locate it so let's locate it from here and if I look at my plan um, to it's a half inch over too so 0.5 locates it and then that's centered on it and I say okay now just the same thing extrude it up. I'm going to extrude it up to the center of the circle. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I've measured up it's one and a quarter inches. So I'm going to go up 1.25 inches and say okay. So there we go. So, so far so good. Um, let's while we're here since we just used the fillet tool let's put the fillet there. And let's put the fillet, let's uh, rotate this around and put a fillet over here. And that fillet has to be, again, I think that's not big enough. It has to be a half inch, I believe, 0.5. Let's try it and see what happens. Boom, I guess we got it right. It looks like the picture. And there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now we just have to put the top on it. Um, so let's do this, let's put a sketch. I'm going to sketch from this direction and I'm going to put a circle and I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to go over to here, get out of the circle tool, let's say OK and extrude this, but I want to go the other direction and let's say 
to where do I want to go to? I want to go to let's not make a blind. Let's go to next. Um, that didn't work out so well for me, did it? Uh, let's just say how big it is. Let's just say uh, blind and make it 0.5 and be done with it. All right, there we go. Um, is that correct? I think so. We say okay. So far, so good. Um, I could have done the other one, but I wanted to do. I wanted this to be repetitive. So now let's go put another circle on there and let's make that circle 0.5. And then let's say, okay. And then this time let's remove it. We're going to extrude and we're going to say remove. Let's pick that and just say through all. And there we go. Um, missing one little part. I could have done a mid plane extrusion and made this come out this way, but I didn't. So let's add to it because I wanted to do additive anyway, right? So that's one way to do it. Let's go to the center here, go to here. I it, notice it locks right on. And then I can click here and I'm going to just click and say 0.5, make it centered on there. So now I've got two circles very easily. Say, okay, extrude, pick that and extrude it out 0.5. Oops, what did I do? Didn't do that right. Let's edit that extrusion. Oops. And say 0.5. Enter. See how I did that? I right clicked on it and said edit extrusion and say OK. And then there's my part. If you take a look at that, it doesn't look quite right, does it? Can you see something? What's, what's wrong with it? Um, it looks to me, if I look at this straight on, it looks to me like this is not tall enough. It looks like I missed probably by about a half an inch. So let's find that extrusion in our tree over here. That would be this, this extrusion right here. Let's try to edit that sketch and see what happens. Um, nope, actually we're not going to edit that sketch because see it made it disappear. We need to edit that extrusion. So we click on edit, right? And let's make that go up one point. Let me just check my dimensions there. Uh, hold on a second. One is right there. 1.5, 1.75. Aha, 1.75. I didn't count the boxes right. So that fixed it. We now have Part number 11 completed, and we did it using um, additive. We also learned how to do circles, and we also learned how to do fillets. Um, I did forget one other thing. Sorry, guys and girls. We got to put a sketch on there, put a circle. Remember, we're going to make that circle 0.5, and then don't forget, you have to locate it this way. And that is 0.5 and locate it this way. Oops. How did I do that? Got out of my dimension tool. Let's locate that. And that has to be one, two, three, four boxes, which is one inch. Enter. Got it. Let's do an extrude, a remove, and say through all choose that okay boom basic part number eight is complete and we used our um, additive technique any questions be sure to ask your instructor